Today is June 20th, 2016. I continue to document the illegal alias mafia um, stealing of the taxpayers' money and the citizens' money, as well as the tra their trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. They, as I uh, have already stated uh, and have, I have shown you, uh, the illegal aliens mafia has government employees placed in different government agencies uh, so they can have access to the uh, citizens demographic information social security numbers and uh, confidential information so um, they can sell their their identities to illegals in the country and illegal aliens mafia members uh, one of these agencies government agencies containing these illegal aliens mafia members uh, who are government employees and who are trafficking with citizens identities and government benefits is the Department of Social Services across the country specifically Westchester County and Livingston County Department of Social Services and uh, the Social Security Administration offices across the country uh, specifically the one uh, on South Broadway in Yonkers, New York which is inside Westchester County, New York. And the Livingston County Department of Social Services um, also have contact with these agencies and um, the Social Security Administration Office in Batavia, New York, as well as the, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services in Jamaica, New York. These are centers where government employees falsified uh, citizens' records in order for them to uh, sell the citizens' identities and government benefits to illegals in the country and illegal aliens mafia members. And uh, I should point out that they do not, when they sell millions of identities to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members or terrorists, they don't ask them what is the purpose uh, of you buying this identity so you can move around the country. They don't ask if the person or persons uh, buying the identity so they can move around freely are uh, have uh, terrorist uh, intentions or not, or they want to um, uh, shoot down uh, Americans or anything like that. They just give them the identity tell them the identity and the government benefits so they have enough money to buy guns to buy arms to buy anything they want so they can move around the country and live a very wealthy life a fairly wealthy life uh, again this is um, a fax sent to the department of social services commissioner in livingston county who has been working with uh, the department of social services commissioner in westchester county mr kevin mcguire who is uh, an assassin a sadist and <clears throat> um, a murderer or of, of american citizens and trafficker of citizens identities and government benefits let's go back to the facts this facts reads Name of sender Luisa uh, Oyarsun, elderly, chronically ill, cancer dying citizen. Um, attention to Ms. Diane M. Dane, Livingston County Department of Social Services Commissioner. Uh, it's de it is dated uh, June 20th, 2016. Um, the fax number is 585 243 7344, and it's five pages. And it reads, Enclosed, please find my medical bills already submitted to you and your staff several times for pain and processing. Apparently, the Westchester County, the, uh, the Westchester County, Westchester County's uh, Medicaid that never worked for the last five years is not working here at the Livingston County Department of Social Services either. Please use my real Medicaid, not Westchester County's Medicaid and process the enclosed bills which were already submitted uh, two or three times so hospitals and uh, doctors don't keep sending me to dozens of collection agencies and uh, damaging my uh, credit while illegals use my medicaid uh, and this is the fax number this is the fax receipt showing that they received it okay Thank you for your attention and please stop the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits, including mine, 
the illegals who are sold these elderly and disabled citizens benefits can work and they can pay for their medical care and medi medicines. We senior citizens can't. Please. Sincerely, elderly disabled citizen Luisa Oyarsun uh, and cancer dying patient. Uh, incidentally, she's dying of cancer because for the last five years uh, she had a Medicaid which was a fake Medicaid issued by uh, Kevin McGuire and this was while he sold her Medicaid, her real Medicaid to illegals in the country and she <clears throat> was supposedly on paper in five different nursing homes uh, and in uh, seeing 15 psychiatrists uh, of course, these illegal aliens uh, that were using her identity and illegal aliens mafia members that were using her identities uh, were using these medical care um, facilities um, courtesy of the taxpayers. Uh, the taxpayers paid millions uh, of dollars uh, out of their hard work um, so the illegals could get medical care, free medical care and free government benefits courtesy of the uh, government funds and the taxpaying citizens. Uh, again, this is a bill that if you have been following us, was submitted earlier. Uh, it's for $2,149.83. Uh, uh, this was submitted earlier uh, from Noyes uh, Hospital where they have uh, illegal aliens mafia members working there who are uh, refusing to give medication or medical care to any um, citizen who is an illegal aliens mafia victim because um, they are getting their paychecks from their tax pay the taxpayers' money. However, the ones that put them in uh, that position or the one that gave them their jobs are illegal aliens mafia members, uh, so they have to do what the illegal mafia tells them to do. Uh, and so they have been killing citizens who report the illegal mafia or who claim their benefits, who dare to claim their benefits. Again, um, this is, uh, and this is only one of the hospitals that does that. Uh, St. John's uh, Hospital in Yonkers, New York also does that. Uh, in Dobbs Ferry um, Town, uh, St. John's uh, Hospital also does that. In um, in Sleepy Hollow uh, in Westchester County also. Uh, Films Hospital does that. And uh, Metropolitan Hospital in downtown Manhattan in New York City also does that. They annihilate or assassinate, uh, if you want to put it that way, any illegal aliens mafia victims whose identity, uh, whose identities and government benefits were sold to illegals and they want to eliminate the illegal mafia. Want to eliminate them because uh, they're 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 they are of no use to the illegal mafia anymore. They already sold their benefits and identities, so that they don't want illegals to have to worry about uh, somebody else coming out with their identity, which was sold to them. Uh, and this is another uh, bill which was submitted earlier. If you have seen the other videos. Okay, this was from Dr. Davis Jacobson who was contacted by the illegal mafia and now is also refusing to have anything to do with Luisa Oyarsson or give any medical care or medication to Luisa Oyarsson which is his duty as a doctor since the doctors uh, take an oath, make an oath and um, when they take an oath uh, they swear to provide health care and uh, health services to uh, patients and uh, do what is in the best interest of the patients, not what is in the best interest of the illegal mafia as they have been doing in the country. And um, of course the illegal aliens mafia uh, members are untouchable. You report them or do anything and uh, even if they're caught on tape assassinating somebody Nothing happens to them because, of course, they um, get lawyers paid with the taxpayers' money to defend them, uh, millions uh, of dollars, and they defend them and they always get them off the hook, uh, almost always, 99.9%. .9%. So if you and I commit a crime, we need to pay for our own lawyers, uh, 
if the illegal aliens mafia members who are government employees get caught committing the, their crimes, then they are off the hook because they, the, the best lawyers are paid by the taxpayers' money, yours and mine, which is very unfair. Okay, and this is the fact that uh, is this uh, elderly citizen sent to the illegal aliens mafia member who works as a commissioner of the Department of Social Services in West in uh, Livingston County, Livingston, New York. And the scheme here is they tell the citizens after they steal their benefits and um, identities and sell them to illegals in the country. They tell the, the, the citizens, oh yes, you have your benefits, you have your Medicaid uh, or your state medical um, insurance. And they contact the hospitals and any clinics that the citizens go to and tell them, tell the, the, the fool that uh, he or she has his Medicaid uh, or medi med uh, medical insurance, state medical insurance, and will pay you uh, under the table or will use another medical insurance uh, paid by the fools of the taxpayers. Um, and uh, you get your piece of pie and we get ours. And that's, what, uh, that's why they need to send the citizens to specific doctors so the doctors can fa falsify um, billing uh, documents as well as medical documents, falsification of medical records, yes. And uh, the citizens uh, are slowly but surely killed by the doctors uh, serving the illegal mafia because they don't give them the medication or the medical care that they're supposed to give them because they want them to die so the illegals uh, can assume their identities for good and uh, continue to take their government benefits, state pensions, uh, social security benefits, uh, you name it. And the government benefits, I mean the government employees involved in this, the, uh, in the social security, the, Social Security Administration offices, uh, Centers for Medicare, Medicaid Services, and the uh, uh, Department of Social Services. These employees who are criminals uh, get their monies and everybody's happy, except for the American citizens. Incidentally, this never happens to Muslim citizens. Uh, what a coincidence. Only American citizens and uh, this never happens to illegal aliens mafia members because they are protected by this mafia and um, i hope you have learned a little bit more about the illegal mafia and the way they assassinate american citizens um, and uh, can protect yourself again this is 20th of june 2016